We're going to look at this video at binomial expansions, and we're going to look at how to find the term independent of x. So first of all, this expression, independent of x, means a term which has no x value. So it, it doesn't have an x, doesn't have an x squared, doesn't have an x cubed, and so on. So what we're going to do, first of all, is look for the general term. So this, exp this expression is x plus 3x, uh, x plus 3 over x to the power of 6. I'm just going to write down my general term. So my general term is going to be 6cr. And one of the terms has to do to be the power of r. So I'm going to let the more awkward one be the power of r. So this one. And then this one then is the power of 6 minus r. So the x is the power of 6 minus r. So make the more difficult looking one, make it the, the easier power. Uh, so r and the other one uh, to the power of then uh, 6 minus r, n minus r. So in this case, the rn is 6, so 6 minus r. So we're going to, we want to work this out and we want to find basically what value of r makes this thing disappear, makes there be no x. And this could have been anything. They could have said, find a term, the x squared term in the general expansion. You would do the same. You would just put, find this thing, the power of the x, and then put it equal to 2. But for our one, we want to find our power of x and put it equal to 0. So what we're going to do is separate this out. We're going to write this as 6cr. That's still x to the power of 6 minus r. Nothing we can do here. This next bit, we could write this as 3 to the power of r. Then 1 over x to the power of r, so we separate it a little bit. Next thing we're going to do, <coughs> we will write that is 6cr, then x to the power of 6 minus r. And then that's going to be, I will just write my x term, when 1 over x, I'm going to write it as x to the minus 1. It was the power of r, and I still have the 3 to the power of r. Okay, if we go on with this, we're just going to sort out the middle term here. So we're going to leave everything else as it was, 6cr, x to the power of 6 minus r. x to the minus 1 to the power of r then will become x to the power of minus r. And then that's 3 to the power of r. Now what we're going to do is combine these two terms just using your first rule of indices. When you multiply index numbers with the same power, you just add the power. That's all we're going to do here. So it's going to become... At 6cr, I'm also going to pull the 3, r, 3 to the power of r out the front. And then we're going to be left with x to the power of 6 minus r times minus r is going to be 6 minus 2r. Now, this bit here, we could put this, we could make this equal to whatever we want them. So if they wanted me to find the x squared term, I would make this thing equal to 2 and then work out what my value of r is. But in this case, we want the term independent of x. So we're just going to say, uh, put 6 minus 2r equal to 0, which means 6 is equal to 2r, which means we better work out 6 divided by 2, r is equal to 3. So if we put r equal to 3 into this, we will find our term independent of x. So we'll just say, therefore, term independent of x is just going to be equal to 6c and instead of r we've got 3 times 3 to the power of r 3 to the power of 3 i should have said uh, 3 to the power of 3 and then that x is going to be the power of 0 and then if you just do that in your calculator i'll just do that now 6c3 and then times uh, 3 cubed or 3 to the power of 3 that got me 500 and 40. Okay, this next one, same idea. Uh, it's a wee bit harder because it's 2x plus 3 over x to the power of 8. So again, we'll go for our general term. So our general term is going to be, um, uh, it's going to be 8cr, and I will do 2r, and then 3 over uh, 2x, I should have said, 2x, and then 3 over x. I would make this one to the power of r. I think it's slightly trickier, these ones. And then that's going to be 8 minus r. So if we work that out, that's going to be 8cr. And we could split this up. This is 2 to the power of 8 minus r. Then x to the power of 8 minus r. And then here, split up our 3. It's to the power of r. And then we have 1 over x. 
So I'm skipping a wee step here. Remember, one over x in is the same as x to the minus one. So that's x to the minus one, and then to the power of r. Okay, a lot of tidying up. Let's bring all the completely numerical bits out the front. So we had two to the power of eight minus r. We had three to the power of r. Then we had our algebraic, algebraic terms. You have x to the power of eight minus r. And then we have x to the power of x minus one to the power of r is going to be x to the power of x to the power of minus r just as it's going to be. And then if we tidy that up, again, the last two terms then can be combined. So you can have 8cr times 2 to the 8 minus r, 3 to the power of r, and then that's going to be x to the power of 8 minus 2r. And then this bit, we're going to put the power of this has to be 0 because we're looking at term independent of x. So we just say put 8 minus 2r equal to 0, which means 8 is equal to 2r. A wee bit of working out, r equals 4. So we'll just say our term independent of xn, so the bit with no x's, our r is equal to 4, 8, c, 4, 2 to the power of 8 minus 4, 2 to the power of 8 minus 4, so that's going to be 2 to the power of 4, and then 3 to the power of 4. So fire that into your calculator. And let's see what we get. Doing this on my calculator now. 8c4 and times 2 to the power of 4 and then times 3 to the power of 4. And I got a whopping 90,720. So hopefully that is right. Okay, and next one we have 4x plus 3 over x squared. And this is the power of 6. General term again, so your general term is going to be 6CR, in brackets 4X, and then 3 over X squared, and I'll do this one, this is definitely more complicated, do it to the power of R, and then 6 minus R, and then we want to separate this out. So separating out the numerical terms, and the X terms, so we have uh, all of that. I'm just rattling through this this time. That is 1 over x squared. Remember, it's the same as x to the minus 2. So that's x to the minus 2, then to the power of r. Okay, a wee bit of tidying up now. That's going to be 6cr, 4 to the power of 6 minus r, 3 to the power of r. Then you've got x to the power of 6 minus r, then x to the power of, so if we do, just showing you where I'm getting this from, minus 2 times the r, that's going to be then minus 2r. And then all we're doing here in this line is we're grouping the last two terms together. So it's just going to be x to the power of 6 minus 3r. And then remember what we're looking to do. We want to put this equal to 0 because we're looking for the term independent of x. So just say put 6 minus 3r equal to 0, which means 6 is equal to 3r. A wee bit of working out, r is equal to 2. So we just say your term independent of x is going to be equal to 6c2, 4 to the power of 6 minus 2, which is 4, 3 to the power of 2, and then just do that on your calculator. So whatever that is, 6c2 times 4 to the power of 4, and then times, what have I just said, uh, 3 to the power of 2. And when I did that my calculator, I got a very big number. 3, 4, 5, 6, 34,560. Okay, last one. We have got 3 over x minus x cubed to the power of 8. A wee bit different looking, but same idea. Again, you're just going for your general term. General term is going to be 8cr times 3 over x to the power of something, and then minus x cubed. Oops, sorry, that was minus of x cubed. And ooh, which one is trickier here? Hard to know. I will go for this one. I'll call this one my uh, r term. And this one then is my 8 minus r. So my general term is equal to this. A lot of splitting up and tidying up then. So it's 8cr. I'll take my 3 out. 3 to the power of r. Then that's minus, uh, sorry, 1 over x, which is x to the minus 1. 
and this is the power of r then over here uh, i actually have a minus to come out here as well so uh, minus one comes out and it's the power of eight to the minus eight minus r and then i've just got x cubed and it's the power of eight minus r now next step i'm going to do a couple of things first of all i'm going to bring all my numerical bits out the front so three to the power of r then minus one to the power of eight minus r and then my what i'm doing here is sorting this out so x to the minus one to the power of r becomes x to the power of minus r and then my next thing what i'm doing is this i have x to the power of three then to the power of eight minus r so just multiply the three times the eight minus r so you're going to get you're going to get x to the power of 24 minus 3r and then the last thing we can do in our tidying up is 8cr 3 to the power of r minus 1 to the power of 8 minus r and then that's going to be x to the power of 24 minus 4r and then this bit here we want to put equal to equal to zero because we're looking for the term independent of x so just say put 24 minus 4r equal to zero which means 24 equals 4r a little bit of working out means r is equal to six so just say therefore and this is our big finish the term independent of x is equal to 8c6 3 to the power of 6 times minus 1 to the power of 8 minus 6 8 minus 6 would be 2 so if you just do that out that is going to be equal to doing this on my calculator 8c6 times 3 to the power of 6 times and then minus 1 squared minus 1 squared is just 1 and that works out to be 20,412 and that is us done.